Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, Archaeology App. My name is Ashley Roki. And I'm Guy Trainin. And this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today we're talking about archaeology apps and this is summer and in summer it's lots of fun to go outside and one of the things you can do outside is participate uh, or see archaeological sites mm -hmm. and we've got a few apps for you that are from around the world because archaeology happens all over the world not just here and you can look for sites that are close to you but you can also through the iPads learn about other places around the world that have very interesting finds. And the first app I want to talk about is Archaeology Britain. And Archaeology Britain is also uh, under Arc Brit. So if you're looking for it, you've got to know what you're looking for. And this is designed for an iPhone as well. And this is really important because if you are visiting Britain, we're not, but <laughs> you might be. Um, this is an opportunity to actually take it with you to uh, the site. So this is Archaeology Britain. And what you can see is that it has different categories. And you can look at castles, churches, megaliths, uh, settlements, and defense. And let's go to megaliths because it's got things that we all know and love, like Stonehenge. And one of the things I've learned as I look through this app is that Stonehenge didn't always look the way we look at it now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so one of the things they have is, besides a short history of Stonehenge, they have different uh, reproductions from different times and they actually have drawings that predate uh, our ability to photograph things and they've got early photographs so you can see the relative size and what it looked like at that time and then explanation and you see that there are actually uh, older texts that uh, truly predate this is from uh, 1574 so this allows us to see what it looked like at that time it doesn't look like that anymore the original drawing and uh, restoration and all of that so you can actually see different aspects of these sites and I just noticed you can click on the picture and mm -hmm. it allows you to zoom in on it so yeah that's a nice feature and um, let's just take another example and look at settlements and let's uh, look at this settlement. So you see some aerial photo photography that allows you to see the whole space. You can see the church right next to it. And I think this actually allows you to see it better than if you were there on the ground, mm -hmm. because seeing it from there, you can see the way it's laid out and standing right there would probably give you less. And what I like is on this app on the side, it says what? It's a settlement, when, the Iron Age, where it's from, and then that ability to draw more from Wikipedia and from English Heritage. So there's actually links to more resources if you want to learn more. And this is uh, the Heritage resources. And you just uh, zoomed in on the map uh, to see exactly what it looks like. So there are lots of opportunities to explore through this app. And I personally love these apps that have contained information, but then allow you to connect out. Mm -hmm. So this is called Archaeology Britain or Arc Brit, if you're looking for it on uh, the iTunes uh, App Store. And the next one is one of my favorites. I've talked about it before, and this is Trajan's uh, column. And this is a column found in uh, Rome. And this app is fantastic because it allows you to explore it. So you start with the a, with a aerial photography of Rome and where it is actually located in there. Nice sound effects with nice sound effects. You don't have to watch it every time. And this is part of a 3D ROM. So this is, this is if you're saving this on your iPad, you'd better have a, a lot of room on your iPad because there's a tremendous amount of information. So you get the story. The story told by the column and begins it's with the little narrated, by the narrated, but you also right going Daniel. through that story. So the story is around that column climbing up and you actually get to experience it and you've got this map on the side that shows you where you are on the column but if you stop this you can actually if you go back to to the sources you can go to different parts of the story so there's a list of the different pieces 
It's so there's text as well. The city as is rapidly body. occupied. There's a little bit of text that goes with it. There's a lot of descriptions. Yes. Surrender. And it allows you to jump from place to place. It's almost like reading a comic book in some ways. Uh, because it is a very much an illustrated novel that tells the history, at least from uh, the perspective of uh, Trajan and his conquest. And you can see that you can actually rotate manually and go up and down. So you can explore this, and everywhere you go, there's a short description of mm -hmm. what you're looking at. So you don't have to wonder, what am I looking at? Why am I looking at it? What's going on in this picture? You actually get a brief description, and that way you know what's going on. So this is a fantastic exploration of a, a site. And you can, see that you can see this in 3D, in the way it looks like in a reality right now. A, in 1750 or you can go back in history and you actually can it's one of those that allows you <laughs> augmented reality that allows you to walk around and look around at the houses around it and at the column itself so you can look at it and this is what it looks like in uh, 125 AD when it was just created so you can really play around change the view change where you are at and be able to look at it from different directions. So for me, it's a great way to learn history and to look at the archaeology, but it's also a fantastic illustration of mm -hmm. what you can do with apps mm -hmm. if you really think about it and collect a lot of information and data and bring it in. So this one is called Trajan's Column. All right. Okay. Um, the app that I have is called DigQuest, mm -hmm. and this is um, set in Israel. Mm -hmm. So I've already started this, mm -hmm. um, and but basically in the beginning it'll just walk you through, which is very nice, especially for younger students. It mm -hmm. tells you exactly what you're doing, and it's simple language, not too much print. So I've already started um, my quest, mm -hmm. but as you can see, it comes up when it has text and pictures, um, not as in depth as the Trajan's column. Right. Yes, but you can collect different things. So let's just go to a. And see this task, mm -hmm. it just gives the um, student several different tasks. So I'm to put together the paper here. And this is a Dead Sea Scroll. So that's part of the thing you just found. Right. Now you got to put it together. Yeah, that's kinda, harder than it looks. It's kind of difficult, yeah. Huh. Um, so, oh, there we go. Oh, OK. So they do join together when you, when you find the right pieces. And, and to be honest, it was hard to put them together in the first place. So I'm not surprised it's hard to put them together this time. There we go. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so when you get it, you did it. And um, you're able to actually like scan it as they did. Mm -hmm. So I restored the scroll. Fantastic. Okay. And um, then it highlights the mm -hmm. text that they want you, the message they want you to get. So okay, and they have it tr uh, translation it into English. It is translated, but the nice part is, is you can listen to it. So. לכן אמור לבני ישראל, אני אדוני, והוצאתי אתכם מתחת סבלות מצרים. So you can listen to it in mm -hmm. Hebrew. I have no idea what that means. Oh, I mean, I do know what it means. You do know what it means, and it's a good translation, I can say. Is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So then you just add it to your collection mm -hmm. and see it comes up with um, these instructions. Okay. The whole so, so it walks mission. you through, uh, uh -huh. through all of it and walks you through different sites in Israel that mm -hmm. have different finds from 2,000 years ago or right. so. And I mean, there is facts embedded into mm -hmm. it. And I liked the Hebrew part yeah. and that you could actually listen to it. Yeah. So that would be helpful for students. So, fantastic. Mm. So today we talked about some apps that explore archaeology. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.